Hey everybody, I'm Gary Alexander, and I'm here with Ron McCormick from Pure Form Nutritional Supplements. Ron, how are you? Good. Wonderful, Gary. Now let's talk a little bit about what Pure Form Supplements offers to everyone out there watching this. What we offer is a high-quality, all-natural product line that is that actually balances your pH levels. We are big into the nutrition industry of making people healthy and well. Uh, not just making people fit, but making it to where they don't develop autoimmune and degener degenerative diseases, uh, such as cancer, diabetes, lupus, MS, Crohn's, uh, women that get simple yeast infections, candida, rosacea, men that get gout. Uh, all these diseases uh, we have found are brought on by diet. So losing weight is often all about fat grams, carbs, and calories, right? Well, not according to the author of a new diet book. Dr. Robert Young says the secret to permanent weight loss comes down to acid and the pH balance in your blood. pH is a measurement between acid and alkaline. And when you're eating alkaline foods, you're going to be healthy and fit. When you're eating acidic foods, you're going to be sick, tired, and fat. Okay, now you said how do we test our pH? Well, it, really easy. pH paper, you just mm -hmm. put it in your mouth. Mm -hmm. And the color should come out green. Okay, can I test mine? You bet. Here's one for you. Okay. And I just put this in my yeah. mouth. And then, based on the color, it came the out The color, green. it came out green. So that's good. That's good. That's exactly the way you want to be because the more alkaline you are, mm -hmm. the less chance you're going to, to acquire any sickness or disease or become overweight. When you say the less alkaline we are, so that means in the foods that we eat in our bodies, taking our bodies every exactly. day. Exactly. Okay. And, and the liquids that we drink too as well. Oh, so really? not only what we eat, but what we drink and also our thoughts can make us acidic too as well. pH balance is probably the single most important thing you can know about your body. When your body is pH balanced, that is when you are uh, alkaline. When your body is in an alkaline state, it's physically impossible to develop cancer, diabetes, lupus, MS, Crohn's, all these diseases that people are contracting every day. Um, so very, very important. You can see why uh, uh, 1.3 million Americans in this country develop diabetes, and, and can or actually cancer is 1.3, 1 million on the diabetes, and that is due to poor diets. Um, if they can make their body alkaline and prevent that from happening, it'd save a lot of lives. And how do you know which foods are not good for you? Well, first off, balancing the pH is simple as uh, using uh, a pH paper, kind of like measuring mm -hmm. the pH of your swimming pool or your spa. Oh, really? We keep track of that, and yet uh, we don't keep track of our internal fluids. But the pH should be alkaline, slightly alkaline, uh, like the urine or saliva should be alkaline at about 7.2. And when we're in an alkaline state, this is when we enjoy the highest quality of energy, vitality, health, and we flat out just don't get fat. Remember, your plant enzymes and probiotics are what stabilize your digestive system. A lot of people, including myself before I was a nutritionist, suffer from heartburn and acid reflux. Very, very painful. <laughs> so what happens is we want to get rid of that by dousing the system with nutrients to actually help the digestive system work properly. And what you will notice right away when you get on the products uh, is your digestive system will just do that. We'll start changing you. The heartburn will disappear, the acid reflux will disappear because now you have nutrients that can support a healthy digestive system because it all starts with digestion. The more that I diligently take this product, the better off my hypoglycemia is. Yes, I work with a lot of hypoglycemics, and hypoglycemia is prediabetes. Uh, a lot of people don't understand that, and it's real simple to, to uh, take care of, but what you have to do is simply take in a protein source every couple hours and cut the sugars out. Instead of having sugars come in, cut the sugars out, and that will stabilize the blood sugar. Berries are low glycemic. You'll see in our picture here we have red raspberries, uh, blueberries, strawberries. Berries are very, very low in sugar, what we call low glycemic. And unlike apples that are much higher in sugar and oranges. So if you're pre-diabetic or diabetic, you want to stay away from the apples and the oranges and do more berries uh, and mix it with your protein and that way you have a good high protein, low glycemic shake, uh, which is great for weight loss. Uh, and we do have a whole weight loss regimen program that, that you can check us out online and, and print that out for free as well. Now some of the foods that you say we should avoid because they're high in acidity are meat, pork, chicken, peanuts, corn, alcohol, coffee, most fruits, eggs, dairy products, yeast, and sugar. That is everything I guarantee you everyone watching this segment likes to eat. So how does the acid affect our bodies and our weight? 
Well, you what see, does it do? if acid is not eliminated through the elimination organs, either through urination or perspiration or respiration, it actually gets parked on your hips, your thighs, your buttocks, your breast, your waistline. So the body has to eliminate these acids. These are waste products from energy production. Mm -hmm. And if they're not eliminated, they get parked. So fat becomes a protective mechanism to protect us against excess acidity. And you also say that we can add things to our, our water and, and what we do daily. And this is, these are pH drops that we should add to our water. These are the pH drops. And you can actually see, uh, if we drop it mm -hmm. right on here, you can actually see it changes the color mm -hmm. to a dark blue, which is highly alkaline. All you do is put some of the pH drops in the water to begin and alkalizing that water. Now you brought some pictures in of some of the people who've been on your diet, and we have a picture of a person who lost. How, how many pounds do you think we can lose on this diet? You can lose an average of a half a pound minimum a day. Mm -hmm. So take how much weight you want to lose, times it by two, and that's how many days it's going to take for you to lose that weight. Does this formula anything new, or is this just something that through your studies that you just feel works? Over the last 25 years, I've been studying the basis of alkalinity within our bodies and how it helps to help us be healthier mm -hmm. and ener more energetic and help to keep the pounds off, too, as well. Because there's things in here that I've not heard before, especially the body chemistry. And your, and your point about the pool water is dead on because you're right. We don't even know what's inside our bodies, yet we know what's in the pool. Well, if you've ever had a fish, a fishbowl, the fish is only as healthy as the water in which it swims in. And so... Our hu the human cell is only as healthy as the water it swims in. We're, we're, a, we're a body of fluids, body of water, and it has to be pH balanced at 7.365. And if it's not, the body goes into preservation mode. It tries to protect itself, and one of those ways is by packing on the pounds.